guys. Um, this is a little video about how to get started with the uh, SimNet Excel projects. So what you want to do first is, of course, log into SimNet. Uh, there might be different interest points. So I'm logging in from, uh, from my personal account. And uh, once you get into SimNet, um, you will have to look at what specific class that you're taking. If you're taking more than one class through SimNet, then there will be more listed. As you can see here, I go up to the right corner. I have different versions of my class. I pick the one I'm in. And that's where I can see all the different assignments uh, that are due for, for the specific class. So in this case, let's see, I'm working on project 1.4 uh, uh, Excel. And I uh, click on and open it. <clears throat> On the left side here, you can see you need a down uh, start file. Um, and in order to download it, you basically click on the uh, start file. You can see here it downloads to my uh, desktop. And if you want to open it directly, you basically just open it from here. Uh, or you can see it in your download folder. Um, and then you could download it from there. Now, make sure you also take the right instructions you can see on under instructions, there are two different files to download. You have uh, a downloadable file if you work on Excel for Windows or if you work on Excel for Mac. Uh, and so make sure that you uh, download the correct instructions. They are not they're very similar, but not quite the same. So that's why you need a specific uh, instructions file for your specific setup. Now, once you're done, so let me open up the file here, show you what it looks like. switch you over so you can see it. So this is my Excel file. Um, it opens up here in a protected view. So in order to get in there and edit it and be able to save it, you have to enable editing. That's what you start with here in the right corner. Uh, and then you can see it opens up. It has the data here. And then you can start working on it um, and follow the instructions. Now, once you're done, if you want to save it, you go in under the file area and you do save as. And then you can see. Uh, in the top here, you have a file name. And in this case, it is specific to me. So, so it's already set up in order to save it with the right uh, name. Uh, and that's what you see here. Basically, then you just save it. Um, if you want to specify where to save it, you go in under Options. And it opens up your Excel um, uh, area or not it opens up your um, file area where you can choose where to save it so let's say i want to save it at my desktop and i go in here and then i save it just by simply click, clicking uh, save uh, and then it saves to my desktop now in order to uh to, to to save work and then return to it later or in order to get it graded um you have to go back to the uh, uh, your browser, and let me just open that one up so you can see. I have to go back to your browser here. You say upload my file, and then you go in. I put it onto my desktop, so I find it um, on my in my file area, and um, I then uh, simply upload the uh, the file by clicking on it, by saying open. And then it asked me if you want to submit the uploaded file. No, I'm not ready yet. And then I've saved it. And then you can see on the screen here, it says now Nils Randra Blue Lake Sports-01.3. Uh, so now I have my current file there. Then I can go back to this one, work on it if it's not done yet. And then once it's done, I've uploaded it, and then I can submit it for grading. Um, so in order to submit it for grading, you basically click, uh, click on grade my file and that's about it. So that's how you get started with the independent projects or guided projects on SimNet. Good luck with it.